guys, welcome back. So today we are doing a unboxing of this Milwaukee Tough Shell heated jacket. This is the 2022 model. It does come with the 3.0 milliamp hour battery. So supposedly you can get up to 12 hours of runtime on low. I believe it's six on medium and three on low. I look at the box, I can confirm that. Let's see. It also says it has five times longer life as far as the jacket goes, 80% more stretch. It does come with the one battery, one heavy duty Milwaukee charger cable, and then the adapter. Also many colors to choose from. That's, uh, it says right here, all day runtime. High heat, three hours, medium six, low 12. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and unbox this. I'll kind of show you as I go. I'm just kind of stand here and I'm open it for you. I did test this for a week already, so I just packaged it the exact same way I got it. So here is how it comes. Nice and packed up like that. That's a piece of paper right on top, a little operator's manual. Nothing too uh, crazy important in there. Right here is your box for your charger, your battery, and your heavy duty cable, which I did not put back in here. I kept it out. But we'll go ahead, set the jacket down for now. I'll show you everything that's inside this box. Right on top, you're gonna have your M12 3.0 lithium battery. Real simple, I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with this battery, the M12, it is a 3.0. Go ahead and set this down. Next, you will have your adapter for the jacket. Your battery goes right into this, and the rest inside of the box is just another operator's manual. So, there's that. Has a USB spot too, so if your battery's plugged in, you can charge your phone if you choose or anything else. So, you simply take the battery and you slide it in and it clicks. And then it is installed to the charger slash adapter for your jacket. So I'll set that, well actually here I'll show you another thing. Right here is your charger port. If you want to use the heavy duty Milwaukee charger with a USB adapter or you can use any M12 capable fast charger. Right now battery is at half use because I did use it at work today. And then here is the jacket itself. It comes packaged up in this wrap right here. Like I said earlier I did the delivery of testing this jacket for a week prior to doing this video so I could give you a little first week's uh, impression on it. But at first, you know, we're going with the tough shell, I thought, is it going to be thick enough? And I can tell you it's definitely thick enough. This jacket has some pretty good weight to it. I want to say it's, I want to say it's two pounds, but it's close to it. I went with a medium. And this model does have the heated pockets. And then it has the chest and the back shoulders. For me, I don't usually keep my hands in my pockets but they do warm up pretty quick. I like to leave the pockets on because it lower, heats up your lower part of your body as well. And I know in previous generations on this jacket, they were having some issues. Some people couldn't wear like a sweatshirt underneath with this jacket because they couldn't feel the heat coming through. With the new carbon fiber uh, plates they have in here that disperse the heat, you definitely can feel it through. Like I wear this shirt, a sweatshirt over this shirt and then this jacket and it comes through all of those layers of clothing and you feel that heat really really hit you within 45 seconds to a minute of turning it on high and you also feel it on low too it just takes a little bit longer but i'll go ahead and unzip it through the inside inside you got some soft fleece and also you can kind of feel like some spots where the pads are ran for the heat like right here I can feel some so you got on the chest on both sides on the back side 
kind of for your shoulders, and of course the pocket areas. But the inside is not as heavy duty. You don't want to snag this material on something if you're, you know, waving around at a job site if you're using this at work like I do. I do mechanical construction. But the outside, extremely durable. It uh, almost reminds me of Carhartt jackets. The outside, how tough they are, that's what this reminds me of. And I chose to go with the tough shell because of that. And also, I didn't want a hood. I just don't like hoods. But the logo. You got your Milwaukee. I went with the like navy blue, dark navy blue. This side right here with the non-filled in white rectangles is for your pockets. Over here is your you know, chest, back area. Obviously, all three bars let up means high. Same for the pockets. And then, you know, two bars medium, one bar low. So let's go ahead and power this on. It's going to be on your left side pocket. And they did go through and do the pass through. So you can go two different ways. Which is nice. Pass through. So here's your cable. This is dishwasher, not dishwasher, laundry safe. So you can throw it through your washer. But you know, plug it in, put it back in your pocket. As I struggle to get the battery in there, one handed. And I'll show you its power on. So, you just simply hold down the button, it lights up. So that's full power for just the shoulders and chest. And I like to run it both sides full power in the morning because then I get the heat down low on like my torso, belly area, and I'll out to the sides as well. And then, you know, if your hands are cold, you can throw them in your pockets. But I don't really have that issue. I have my Milwaukee gloves. So, yeah, first impressions from my first week of use is pretty good. I uh, told myself I would use it for a week and see how it goes. If I didn't love it, I'd just return it. And I'd say I'm, I'm loving it so far. It's good. It has adjustable sleeves. That way it's not coming up over your hands, getting in the way. Check your collar down. Got a nice pocket right here. I like to keep my cell phone there. Obviously, heated pockets. Got your battery here, or you can throw it towards the back and the pass through. And then it's not up front with you, it'd be in that back part. And it is offset, so when you're sitting in your car or your truck, you're not having it at the small of your back like it used to be either which is nice. And these pockets are already extremely warm. Like, it's a sauna, guys, in there. Like, your hands will start sweating. Same with up here. Really hot. Back shoulders already feeling a lot of heat, too. So, overall, right now, week one, I'm going to give it, like, a four out of five stars. I'm going to do a long-term review after it starts getting colder outside. And then I'll give you guys an update on it. But if there's anything else you want to see Milwaukee, let me know and I can get it. Just uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.